Okay, today I'm going to teach you guys how to take someone's blood pressure. Uh, this is your blood pressure cuff. Inside of it is a bladder that fills with air. This is your sphygma manometer. And this particular device, it measures your blood pressure in even numbers, okay? When I take the bulb and I start to pump it up, you'll hear it in your stethoscope. When I slowly start to release this, you'll hear it hiss. You don't do it really fast, you do it very slowly. And at the same time, you're listening for the heartbeat. Now, these, this is your stethoscope, and these ear parts, I saw you guys putting them in earlier the wrong way. Your ear canal actually goes forward. So these need to go forward in your ears like this, okay? Now, the other thing is you have to be careful. No playing around with this going like that while somebody has in their ear. You can rupture someone's eardrum, okay? The other thing is once I take her blood pressure, if I mess up and I'm like, oh, I'll let it go too quick, I have to wait one minute before I can take it again, okay? If I mess it up again, then I need to wait another minute. Three chances is all you get, and then you have to switch arms, okay? Because you can actually hurt somebody doing this. So, let me show you how to properly put it on. Before I put the um, cuff on, I need to find her brachial artery. This is the break of her arm, and I'm gonna feel with two fingers where her brachial pulse is. Okay, and it's right there, really strong. Never feel with your thumb because you have a strong pulse in your thumb. So you're just gonna hold it, find it, and then when I go to put the blood pressure cuff on, you see it says artery, okay? So you line it up and you put it on, but not too tight and not where it can wiggle around. You just want it to fit kind of like a pair of yoga pants, okay, where you feel secure. Then I'm going to hold her arm like this so that she's comfortable, okay? I also want to be able to see this, so uh, I might have you hold this for me right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put my stethoscope together. I'm gonna hold this in place. Righty tighty. Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm doing. Okay, now how did that feel? It was fine. That's fine? Good. Okay. So what I heard was when this dial went <laughs> bump, I heard that first bump at about 110, okay? 110. And then as it went, it went bump, 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 bump. As soon as you hear that last strong bump, that is your lower number, okay? So you have your systolic number and your diastolic number. And I'm gonna um, come over here on the board and go over that. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm.